Yeah, uh, today we are going to discuss it. We are going to discuss interview questions. The question is like this, okay? The interviewer is going to give you a question like this, okay? We have a two tables, okay? We do have a, each table is having one column, one which is ID is having column. Here we see the data, one, two, and the rows like this, one, two, and one, two, and three, zero. After that, we do have a two numbers. At the same time, table two is having one, two, four, zero, null value, null value. And they wanted to see the output of inner join. Okay. They, they wanted to see the output of inner join. Left order join. And they wanted to see right order join. And full order join. And, and cross join. Okay. They wanted to understand each join, how it is going to give the output. Whenever you are going to join the data, right? What does inner join do? It is going to it is going to give you the it is going to give you the give you the match records match records between the two tables two tables at the same time left order jump what it does what it does it is going to it is going to it is going to pull the data it is going to give you the give you the give you the give you the match records and which is non matched, non match from left table, from left table, okay, left table at the same time, at the same time, okay, when it comes to, when it comes to right order join, okay, right order join, what does it do? It is going to get a same thing, okay, it is going to give you the match records, but non match records from right table, right table. And irrespective of match or not match, it is going to give you the match from the both the sides. It is going to give you the match, match records as well as as well as which is which is non-matched, which is non-match left table, left table, and right table as well, right table as well, as well. And when it comes to cross join, is nothing but an n into n combinations, which is going to give you, which is going to give you. First, let's understand based on this data. Let's go with the let's go with the inner join. Okay, let's go ahead and understand the inner join output. Inner join output. Let me take this data. Let me take this data, and let's understand the let's understand the inner join output. Inner join output. For example, here table one. Okay, and here table two. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and understand each one. Okay. How data going to be matched? How data going to be matched? And how data look like? How data look like? For example, okay, understand energy and how it works. Let's go. Let's go ahead and understand. First of all, okay, here you need to understand. Okay, here you need to understand. Energy and means it is going to give you the match records between two tables. Okay, let's understand this. Okay, what is matching? Okay, one one is matching. Yes, let's take the one one here. One one is matching. Two two is matching here. Yes, it is matching two two. And when it comes to when it comes to this one, when it comes to again one is there. Okay, again one is coming. Okay, again one is coming. One is matching with one here. One is matching with one. Yes, it is matching. So that what we have to do, we have to write one more time one. When it comes to two. Here two, this two and this two is matching again. Yes, it is matching. So now let's go with three. Three is there here? No, three is not there. So when it comes to zero, zero is going to match with the zero. Here you can see zero and here zero. Okay. Can we see? Okay. How many records came? Overall, five records came. But we do have a null. Okay. Here also nulls are there null never be same each null is unique so when you have an inner join we are not going to see we are not going to see any any null value null value never be same so considering this okay considering this here if you see here ids are duplicate okay the ids are duplicate but it can be matchable that is the reason we see one is coming twice two is coming twice and zero is it, once only that is the reason it is populating one time are you clear 
let's understand let's let me create the table with this this data and let me let me let me go ahead and execute this okay as I earlier explained given two tables data provide me the output of each join okay inner join left auto join right auto join full auto join cross join okay let me create the two tables okay i'm taking the just like it i'm taking these tables okay table one join table two join i'm giving id number okay then let me go ahead and execute these things okay let me go ahead and execute these things okay let me open the sql developer so here you can go ahead and execute the sql developer i already have this okay I already open the session in SQL. Okay, under the schema, we can see here the two tables are created. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and execute the. Let's insert the data. I'm using the inserter so that I can insert at a time entire data. I can I can insert entire data at a time. Let let me go ahead and execute this. Okay, let me go ahead and execute this. Can we see? How many rows is inserted? Now let's go ahead and query this data. Let's go ahead and query this data before executing the inner join as well as remaining joins. Okay, table one join. How the output will be? Let's understand. Okay, table two. Can we see here? Okay, table one is presenting as a, as whatever we have expected one two one two three zero null null. Okay, at the same time, table two can we see here one two four zero null. Here we can see the data. Okay, whatever we have given in the tables, right? In Excel sheet, same data which is presented. Okay, let me run the query as I already prepared the query here. Okay, let me go ahead and execute the inner join query. How the output look like? Okay, as earlier I have explained in the Excel. Okay, same output will be generated. Can we see here? One two one two zero zero. Okay, let's go ahead and see the Excel sheet. Okay, let's go ahead and see the Excel sheet. Whatever we have seen here, right? Same similar output came into the even SQL as well. Okay, understand, guys. Okay, inner join works like this. Okay, what about left outer join? What about left outer join? Okay, let me remove this. Okay, let me remove this and let me write it up left outer join. Okay, left outer join. Okay, here understand. Okay, here understand. Do we have any duplicates at the right side? No. Okay, then we can go ahead and directly copy paste in the here. Okay. Let me first. Okay, one is matching one. Okay, two is matching two. Okay, one is matching again one. Two is matching two. Okay, but here we do have a three third three value three value. Okay, let me go ahead and take the three value. Okay, three value here. Do we have any value in the here? Three is there. So whenever you don't have a well value at right table, automatically what it is going to happen? It is going to generate the null value. It is going to generate the Null value again zero is matching zero. Okay, null going to be match again. Null never be same. Okay, even though right left side is null. Okay, right side also it is going to be created as null. Okay, right side it is going to created as a null. This is the left out left outer join output. Okay, left outer join output. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and execute the same as I already prepared it. Everything. Okay, data have prepared as well as have prepared the query as well okay query as well okay let me go ahead and let me go ahead and execute it can we see same thing whatever i have explained here one two one 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 two two then zero okay null null okay then three null are we clear are we clear output whatever i have explained same similar thing okay only the thing it has been changed the order only the thing it has been Change the order. Okay. Now let's get into let's get into right outer join. Let's get into right outer join. Okay. Let me change here right outer join. Right outer join. Right outer join. 
Now, let me wipe out this data. Okay, wipe out this data. Now, okay, let's go ahead and understand the, let's go ahead and understand the right out version. It is going to give you the match records and which is not matched with the left table, right side, right side data will come. First understand, okay, one is matching one, yes, it is matching. Two is matching, two is matching. And again, one is matching with one, yes, it is matching. Two is matching two, yes, it is matching. Okay, okay. Why? Because here, even though here it is there, okay, one is matching one, okay, two is matching two. Again, one is matching with one or not, yes, it is matching. Two is matching with these two or not, yes, it is matching. That is the reason I have given four rows, okay. Again, let's go with the four. Four, okay. Four is matching with anything? No, it is not matching with anything. That is the reason left table, which is going to come as a null. Again, zero is matching with zero. Yes, it is matching. Now, we do have a null values from the left table, right side table. These are the null values, okay. Null is going to match with null? No, never going to be matched. Here, null, okay. If the data is not available at the right left table, what is going to happen? Automatically, null will come, no, null will come. Now, can we see here, what is the output of right outer join? Okay, right outer join. Can we execute the same thing and see? Yes, let's see. Let's see the output in the SQL developer. Okay, let's see the output in the SQL developer. See, whatever I have explained, similar thing is happened. Okay, null, null, okay, along with four, null, okay. Is it same or not? Yes, it is absolutely same, okay? Only the order has been changed. Only the order has been changed. Now, let's go with the full order join. Let's go with the full order join, okay? Let me remove the right order join, okay? Let's go with the full order join. Full order join. Now, okay. Let's go with one by one. Okay, let's go with one by one. What is the data is available in the left side? Okay, let's understand. Okay, let's understand. What is that? One is matching with one, two is matching with two, one is matching again one, two is matching with two, and three. Three is matching with nothing. Okay, that is the reason we see null value. Okay, zero is matching with zero. Again, null is not matching with null. That is the reason we see null values. Again, what is left from the right table? Four is left and null values are left, okay? Four is left and null values are left. Null, null, okay? Null, sorry. Null, here, null, okay? Automatically four is there, four is not matching with the left table. That is the reason we see null values here, null values here, and null is never going to be same, okay? That is the reason we see null, okay? Overall, how many records came? Okay, both the tables match records, non match records. Okay, both the tables match records and non match records. Overall, how many records came? Here we can see 11 records. Can we see the 11 records in the output as well? Okay, let's see. Let's see in the output. Okay, after writing the SQL query. After writing the SQL query. Can we see same thing here in the output? Yes, it's, it's absolutely matching. It's absolutely matching. Okay. So what is the cross join? Okay. Cross join is, okay. How many records are there in this table? Overall, both the tables. Okay. Right side table, sorry, left table. We do have a eight records. Okay. And we do have a, how many records in the table two? We have a six records. Okay. When we are doing, dealing with this, right, we are going ahead and we are going to do the number of combination. How many records should come? Overall, 48 records should come. Okay, overall, 48 records should come in the cross join. Okay, cross join. Table one, table two. Okay, overall output, overall records, overall records, 48. Okay, let me let me execute practically in the SQL and let's see. Okay, how the output look like. Overall, we are expecting 48 records. So whenever you are writing a cross join, right? Are we going to use the are we going to use the on condition? No, never. We are not going to use any on condition. 
just we are going to use this way just comma separated okay comma separated and then immediately immediately will execute like this okay where it is going to do the cross join okay where it is going to do the cross join let let me execute it let me execute it can let's see okay how the output how many records came guys 48 records as it, as mentioned in the cross join which is going to take n into n combination we are it is going to take in 48 records okay that's it for the day okay that's it for the this particular joining this is most important question i have seen n number of companies are asking this question please write it and go with the different uh, go with the go with the understand these things and solve it guys understand the joins and solve the question this is the detailed explanation please subscribe and like it sr technologies